वेलकम बैक विद इनदर वीडियो लेक्चर फ्रॉम फार्माकोलॉजी फ्यूरोसामाइड और लॉसिक्स फ्यूरोसामाइड टोरासामाइड एंड ब्यूमिटानाइड दिस थ्री मेडिकेशन आर फॉलन इन टू द सेम क्लास फ्यूरोसामाइड और लूप डायोरेटिक्स लूप फॉर लूप ऑफ हैंडले एंड डायोरेटिक्स फॉर डायोरिस डायोरिस मीन इट प्रोड्यूस वाटर और इंक्रीज फ्लो हेयर आर सम इंडिकेशन ऑफ फ्यूरोसामाइड Why Lysix is given and who are given Lysix? We are giving this medication to draw fluid from the patient's body, and which first indication is hypertension or uncontrolled hypertension. If the normal anti-hypertensive drugs or medication does not working, then we will give Lysix. It will increase urine flow. As a result, blood pressure reduce. Second. indication is kidney injury to prevent oliguria and to enhance urine output and improve kidney function third indication is heart failure because heart failure can cause extra fluid to accumulate in the body specifically bilateral peripheral edema in both legs next indication is pulmonary edema when accumulation of excess fluid in lungs which leads to difficulty in breathing then we will give lasix last one is ascites in case of ascites excess fluid accumulation in abdominal cavity occur so we will give lasix to draw this excess fluid from the abdominal cavity so let's see here how the mechanism of action here happens in the nephron so the starting point of the nephron is glomerulus ne then proximal convoluted tubule then we have loop of henle then distal convoluted tubule and at last we have collecting duct so when our body have excess fluids electrolytes that is sodium potassium chloride and they are passing through the nephrons from glomerulus filtration up to collecting duct and finally come out through urine so we must know what happened in the nephron specially in loop of henle so here i will zoom the structure of loop of henle so this is the descending loop lamp of loop of henle which is highly permeable to water but this loop is impermeable to electrolytes and ascending limb is nearly permeable to water but highly permeable to electrolytes that is sodium potassium and chloride so in loop of henle water and electrolytes absorb back to the body so when we take lasix or furosemide they will block reabsorption of electrolytes and water and so they will passing to distal convoluted tubule and then to collecting duct and finally we start maturation or urinating then in this urine highly contents of electrolytes are present they just increase urine output that's why we called it diuretics or now furosemide medication when we give medication to patient we must know about the onset because when we intake drugs orally they go to the stomach where disintegration occurs followed by dissolution then absorption and before distribution to the body they go to liver this mechanism is called first pass effect so if we intake lasix orally it is typically one hour onset to start their action because they must pass from first pass effect by oral route we are able to excrete water in one hour in the form of urine from the body next is intravenous route if the condition is severe or critical and we want to draw fluid from the body immediately or we want quick action then we take drugs iv because in intravenous route first pass effect is not involved 
and quick action can be achieved within 3 to 5 minutes. Next is side effects of furosemide or Lossix. Lossix can cause hypotension because it draw excess fluid from the body and can cause hypotension. It also can cause dry mouth because of excess diuries or excess urine output. It also can cause gout in big 2. Next side effect is tinnitus or ringing ears. It also can cause hyperglycemia which is increased sugar level or it may cause hypokalemia low potassium level which can cause arrhythmias in the heart. Next is dehydration which is excess loss of fluid from the body in the form of urine. Now what are the nursing interventions? So a nurse must keep all side effects in their mind and manage patient diet, health and medication. Some of important nursing interventions are a cup of tea or coffee must be given to a patient because urine output is greater and when one should intake Lasix to get rid of dehydration. A nurse must daily check patient weight especially the dialysis patient to prevent excess fluid accumulation in the body. Also you must keep eyes on patient renal function test, RFTs or renal profile specifically urea creatinine and electrolytes. What also must check? The lungs. The lungs must check through stethoscope for fluid accumulation in the lungs or pulmonary edema. Also the patient must keep on fluid restriction as well as sodium restriction. Also you must keep your eyes on orthostatic hypotension because when a patient change your position their blood pressure fall down and increase the risk of falling down. The last important things must remember by a nurse that the medication furosemide are given to the patient at the morning to prevent nocturia. Thanks for watching. If you like the video subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon for upcoming lectures. Thank you.